everyone, Alexia Star 10 here, and welcome to a game called Anxi- Adventures with Anxiety. My bad. <laughs> it's called Adventures with Anxiety. Um, I don't know much about this game. Oh. Hopefully it'll give us a bit of explanation here. Hello. Okay, I'm in a backpack. Got a sandwich. Nom. What we doing? What are we anxious about? Alright, playtime, 30 minutes. Alright, uh, we're gonna look at the content notes real quick. Adventures with anxiety is about, well, anxiety. But I've made this for folks with anxiety disorders like myself. I do have really bad anxiety, so this is for me. I <laughs> uh, hope you can see it with humor and how anxiety works and maybe reduce the fear itself. There's also badly drawn stick figures and hyperactive wolves. Other notes. Alcohol abuse, sexuality, and a lot of swearing. So we are going to play. Welcome! This is less of a game, more of an interactive story. Hope you like reading, sucka. So before we start, how do you like to read? Um... <laughs> just for... Speak this fast. Speak this fast. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, on click, yes. Great, you can always change the options with the settings icon, auto saves at each chapter. Now let's begin our story. Okay, this is a human. That is, in fact, a human. <laughs> and this is the human's anxiety. We are going to. We're gonna up that. You are the anxiety. Okay, I'm this little doggy. Oh, good, my wolf's back. Fantastic. Your job is protect your human from danger. In fact, that sandwich is putting them in danger right now. Quick, warn them. Human, listen, we're in danger. The danger is. Let your anxiety come out to play. Pick what's most similar to how your f tells you. <laughs> um, mine is just a pit in my stomach. But, yeah, not being productive. Eating alone. That's just my depression. Uh, we're not being productive. We're not being productive while eating. What about your laptop and do some work right now? Um, I'd rather not get crumbs in my keyboard. <laughs> we're not contributing to the body of society. We're a social parasite. The society body will go into society doctor for medication and kill their society parasites and then we'll die. Bad. <laughs> You used fear of being a bad person. <laughs> it's super effective. See, human? I am your loyal guard wolf. Oh, look how cute. Trust your gut. Your feelings are always valid. Get your human's energy bar to zero. I'm killing my human. To protect their physical, social, and moral needs, you can use fear of being harmed, fear of being unloved, fear of being a bad person, Pro tip, play the choices that personally hit your deepest, darkest fears. Okay. You know what, maybe it's time to check my phone. Protect your human from the world, from their other people, from themselves. Good luck. Round one, fight. Uh, you can't be on that phone. Facebook feed says there's a party happening. No, you're alone. What inner void are they trying to fill? They must be deeply messed up inside. Also, I got an invite. Well then! Say yes or we'll die from Say no, it's poison. Um... See... I don't go to parties. I'm never invited. <laughs> uh... I don't care that there's gonna be stuff there. We'll ignore it. Parties make us sad. <laughs> we'll just make parties sad. All we ever do at parties is worry about how we should be productive instead. Gee, I wonder why. So if we'll go, we'll make them feel bad, but if we reject their invite of them, we'll also make them feel bad. All we do is make people feel bad, so we should feel bad. Yep, that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> Phil, make you shut up fine. I'll ignore the invite. Anyway, Facebook is too much. I need something calmer, less anxiety producing. What's new on Twitter? No, don't check Twitter. Oh no, look at that horrible news story. Swear secretly about us. Look at that horrible news story. God, it feels like the world's burning, isn't it? Feels like it's all ending. Like everything's dying and we're doomed and there's nothing we can do about it. Let's retweet that story. Oh. Okay, I'll retweet it. Just please be quiet. Screw it. Let's look at Snapchat. 
Huh, photos from yesterday night. So that's what those weekly parties are like. Hmm. That looks really fun. Maybe I shouldn't have ignored that invite. Actually say no or actually say yes? Yeah, go ahead. Actually, say yes. You're letting me have fun? Well, I mean, loneliness can kill us. Chronic illness. <laughs> Chronic loneliness increases our cortisol levels as well as risk for cardiovascular disease and stroke. <laughs> There we go. Shut up, shut up. I'll change my answer. Yes, God. Whatever. New Tinder notification. Oh, no. What, the hookup app? It's not a hookup app. It's just a way to meet new people. It's a hookup app. Oh, I got a match. They look cute. Please don't ruin this for me. Danger, 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 danger. We're being used. That's... Yep. Yep, these two. Also this one. Um... This one hurts the most, feeling like you're the one using people. You think other people's genitals are Pokemon for us to collect? <laughs> no, copyright, copyright. <laughs> no. I wanna be this <laughs> Like no one ever was. I'm not actually gonna sing this. Guys. <laughs> Sweaty dick and balls. <laughs> Pervy mon. Okay. <laughs> Point is, we're in a manipulative creep. Bad person. I'm so sick of this game. We're a society parasite. World's burning. Crappy song parody. That was a pretty funny song parody. <laughs> I just didn't want to sing it and get copyrighted. Uh, I just want to live my life. I want to be free from all this pain. Hey, human. It'll be okay. As your loyal guard wolf, I'll always keep an eye out for danger and do my best to keep you safe. I promise. Last app, Instagram, what you got? It's... more party pictures. Everyone looks so happy, free from worry, free from anxiety. God, why can't I be like them? Why can't I just be normal? Speaking of parties, about this weekend's invite. Here's my final decision. <sighs> Go. Fuck you! What? I'm going to say yes to that party. Not because you want me to, but because I want to. You're not in control of me. Now excuse me while I eat this delicious sandwich in peace. That sandwich is poisoned. Oh god. Everyone hates us! <laughs> Congratulations! Look at the little face! You've successfully protected your human's physical, social, and moral needs. Why, well, look how grateful they are. <laughs> now that their energy is zero, you can directly control their actions. Pick your ending move. Finish them. Punish your stressful phone, curl up in a ball, and cry. Yeah. The whole world is filled with danger. Do like the armadillo. Curl up into a ball for self defense. Girl up and cry, girl up and cry, girl up and cry, girl up and cry. Oh! <laughs> I have become a ball. Very nice. <laughs> you win! <laughs> nice. I. <sighs> Fears this round being harmed, two being unloved, one being a bad person. Game is autosave, so it's okay to quit and continue. Oh. oh, we're at the party now. But did you see? Did you see that news story about the horrible thing that happened somewhere? Hi. God, I hate the news. It's all sensational. It's only clickbait. N nice party. True, but they're just following incentives. The real problem is people who click the clickbait. Who would retweet a horrible news story and make all their friends feel bad? Uh, I know, right? Oh. Round two. Oh, are you oogling the redhead? No, they hate us. <laughs> they hate us. We're bringing down the mood of the party, being such a sad lump. We're killing the good vibes. We're committing first degree vibe murder. Human, we have to leave now before. Um, can you hear me, human? Oh god, I'm being ignored. I must warn you about a different social danger. 
<laughs> Different social danger. Actually, you know it's worse than no one liking you. Everyone liking you. That is becoming one of these pleasure chasing party animals. A shallow life with shallow friends who only know the shallow you. Human, we need to run away from these pleasure zombies before they turn us into one of them. Oh, thank goodness. I think you can hear me again. I shall warn you about. <laughs> Did you check the punch before drinking it? I'm not being irrational. People do drug punch bowls. This is actually a thing that happens. <laughs> Human, does your head hurt? Are your limbs limp? I think we're dying. Oh, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying. Oh, jeez, that's... Fuck. <laughs> Yay, Human, I'm so happy you can hear me again. Why are you ignoring me? Hell, you absolute moron. You know that Native American story? There are two wolves inside you, one is hope, the other is despair, which wolf wins, the one you feed. I was trying to starve you, you sadistic asshole. <laughs> Screw it. I'll do positive affirmations instead. I am loved. I am good. I am smart. I am beautiful. I am special. That's so narcissistic. <laughs> you need to humbly see your own flaws in order to grow as a person. You can't even sp you can't spray air freshener over a moldy room. Covering up your flaws only makes it worse in the long run. Thankfully, I, as your loyal guard wolf, can alert you to your flaws. And now, it's everything. Everything is wrong. Bad person. <laughs> yes, damn it. You know what? We're, you're irrational. Everyone knows emotions are irrational. Especially fear. You're a useless evolutionary leftover like my appendix or wisdom teeth. Hell, the whole wolf metaphor is stupid. You're just a bunch of neurochemicals in my head. Actually, I am a very bouncy red wolf. You can see me. So why should I listen to a worthless, irrational, non-existent piece of shit like you? I'm feeling, feelings are valid. Human, we're both just chemicals. Ooh! I can eat- oh. I'm hurting my own anxiety, though. Let's do just chemicals. Make you question your own mortality. Your deepest motives are dopamine, your richest joys are serotonin. Your memories are synaptic waves. The reason is fault-prone electrical signals. So if me being just chemicals means I'm irrational, then that means you're irrational. And if we're both irrational, then we'll never figure out how to be fulfilled and happy. Are we broken? <laughs> we're broken. So broken. So broken. Bad. Yeah. I hate this. God, it hurts so much. I hate this. Can't appease you. Can't ignore you. I can't fight you. No matter what I do, I can't seem to get rid of you. Well, maybe you're not supposed to get rid of me. How do you think I feel, human? I'm trying my best to be your guard dog, but you keep seeing me as some big bad wolf. So I try even harder to alert you to danger. More danger. Different danger. But no matter how hard I try to protect you, you still think I'm your enemy. What am I doing wrong? I know I suck at my job, but I'm trying, human. I'm trying. You don't even have to heed my warnings or agree with me or even like me. I just... All I want is for you to be patient with me. I just want for you to sit with me a while instead of turning away and... Hey. Hey. <laughs> Looks like you're caught in a fight with yourself, kid. Was it that obvious? You were, uh... Mumbling at your hoodie about to punch bowls or something. Oh god, I'm such a mess. Hey, you're not alone, friend. Anxiety's super common. Oh. Heck, just yesterday I heard someone curled up in an armadillo bowl and cried in public. Listen, I know what it's like to have that animal in your side, inside your head. We all do. That's why I throw parties every weekend, to forget our worries. Forget that animal. But my anxiety... Don't worry, kid. I used to be like you, but then I found a little trick for that negative voice to just shut up forever. Oh yeah? Booze. <laughs> just booze. My own specialty blend. It's a bit stronger than, well, anything legal, really. You're not supposed to mix drinks. Bottom up. <laughs> oh. Uh, a person, a very attractive person. Alright, uh, don't take straight. Oh my god. Just, oh my god. Oh. oh. What an exquisite palette. Full-bodied flavor of shut your mind up with the subtle aftertaste of never feel anything ever again. This is bad, human. This is really, really bad. This is actually how addiction starts. 
Oh! Delicious and cheaper than therapy. Human, please stop. This is so bad. And what are you gonna do about it? It's cry, probably. I'm so sorry, human. I'm going to have to use my special attack. Uh, it will harm you. You're a bad person. Uh, no one loves an alcohol. You're gonna yap more of your words. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What was that? I'm sorry. I need to show you consequences. I could see everyone's look of disgust. I could hear all the things they said. I'm sorry, human. Finish them. Let's get out of here. I knew all these partygoers were deep and messed up. They all dulled their pain with horrible things. And they're tricking you into doing the same. They're corrupting you. We need to get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Look at him go. Get out, get out, get out. Oh. You alright, kid? Okay, sorry, I have to run. Damn it. Animal one today, huh? No, no, just, uh. Gotta run a marathon. Gotta go fast. Go to my party next weekend, cutie. I'll make something even stronger for you. Okay, then he's gonna run, 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 run. You and me, kid. We'll show that beast who's boss. Oh. Human, are you okay? Gosh, that was close. We really could have. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming back to the party next weekend. Next time we fight, I'm not just going to defeat you, I'm going to kill you. That's not a good idea, human. Look at my little leggies. <laughs> you, uh... Win? Did I win? One harmed, three unloved, and two bad person. Spacebar, let's go. Er. Cheers! Okay, this is the next weekend party. I'm liking the red. The red-haired character. Ah, oh, that hits the spot. You know, kid. Specifically, the spots that are in my left and right amygdala. <laughs> what? <laughs> you remind me of myself when I was younger. Back when I was tormented by the animal in my head. I'm so grateful I can pay it forward and help you kill the beast the way I killed mine. Hey, quick question. Truth or di dare? <laughs> Good. Okay. You see that baby blue swimming pool down there? Yeah. Six floors down? No. <laughs> Jump in. Wait, what? The animal started with whining, hasn't it? Oh no! Dangerous, don't do it! That's exactly why we need death-defying thrills. Party hard! Carpe diem! Start Coco. <laughs> Hashtag YOLO! Show that animal we don't give two dicks about it. Jump in! But sometimes, um... Fear has a point? <laughs> I'm sorry, did she just fall for that? Make mindfulness propaganda that claims feeling bad is good. The ones who run this world give us the rest of us anxiety and depression. Then make TED talks to tell us to accept being effed over and embrace the sadistic demons in our head. Kid, I know that you know that animals hurt people like us. It tortures people like us. It's not our friend. It's a rabid beast which either needs to be tranquilized or have a bullet put in its skull. Otherwise, you're going to let it win. No, you're wrong. I'm not going to let it win. Hell yeah, I believe in you, babe. Kill it. <laughs> the little heart. Oh no. No, 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 no. This chapter has two possible endings. One is very, very bad. Yeah, the, the I'm guessing one is I jump, or my human jumps, and doesn't hit the pool. Uh, human, you could actually die here. No, you stop it. You know, I might have believed you if you haven't tried that a zillion times. You're the wolf who cried wolf. This will harm you. No, get, stop. Tried that too. Human, please. I'm sorry Big Pharma doesn't approve of my self-medication. Look, we all have a way of shutting you up. Some people throw themselves into work. Some people throw themselves into sex, drugs, refreshing their Facebook feed. Some people throw themselves into other people. I'm going to throw myself into that swimming pool. Do I guilt them? 
You're drunk and- We're gonna guilt them. No. I'll admit I messed up. <laughs> oh wow, is that the biggest understatement of the century? Yeah, you rotting pile of blood-coated shit. You messed up. Any other remarks, Captain Obvious? Revenge on me isn't the answer. You need to have a healthy relationship with your emotions rather than drown them with- I should have hit, I'm sorry. I should have hit, I'm sorry. Please don't. Your energy bar is looking awful low there, wolf. If I were you, I'd choose your next words very carefully. I'm sorry. I don't want to shut them out. I'm sorry. You're sorry. Sorry for what? I'm sorry I hurt you. I was so obsessed with trying to protect you from being hurt, I never stopped to realize I was hurting you. I was a bad dog. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, this was a dumb idea anyway. I only did this to mess you up and, well, I messed you up. Let's just call this round a tie, okay? Okay. Okay. Tie. Okay. <laughs> Oh, come on. After the animal's done to you, you're just giving up. What's the matter, kid? Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. And that's okay. It's okay to be scared. I like the little hoodie ears. It's very cute. <laughs> you're a bad influence. They just locked the door. <laughs> I locked them on the roof. Lake tears. <laughs> ah, yes, my tears have become a monument. Game auto saved. Walking back over to my stump in my lake of tears. Cry me a river, I cried a lake. <laughs> oh, sandwich. Hello. <sighs> so what was the moral of this story? What did we even learn? I was being stupid, my friends were using me, and we almost died. Not to mention the liver damage. That was the worst case scenario. And yet, hmm, we survived. Despite everything, we're still here. You seem pretty calm considering we just had a near, near death experience. Well, it makes everything else less scary in comparison. It's also got me thinking. If me fighting you sucks because it doesn't protect you, but me fighting you also sucks because it makes you yell louder, then maybe, maybe we don't have to fight. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright then. I'm not a big bad wolf, but I'm not a guard wolf either. I'm a battered, sheltered dog. We've been through rough stuff, maybe trauma or neglect, that's why I sometimes overreact and go... <laughs> but I don't want to be a cowardly dog. I want to protect you. I want to be a good dog. Human. Will you help tame this wolf? I... I'll try. Okay, healthy relationship with emotions. Relationships need communication, so um... Let's communicate. The next five minutes are going to sound super cheesy, but let's fake it till we make it. Dear Inner Wolf, how are you feeling? Harmed, unloved, and a bad person. Three, four, five. I like that I got it in order. What fears do you want to talk about first? You can do the others later. I'm scared we're a bad person. I want to defend your moral needs that drive you to become a better person. But it feels like deep down, we're so fundamentally broken. And don't tell me we're not messed up. We almost jumped off a roof. I don't know, enough of me choosing what to say next. What do you say, human? We're broken, let's fix it or let's accept it. Or thank you. Before you can start fixing anything, you have to accept that it's broken. So we're broken. Let's accept it. 
I mean, that's what the therapists say, right? Accept all your emotions, even the negative ones? Wait. Accept as in give up, accept as in approve, or accept as in take, literally. Approve. Like, it's good that we're broken or something? No. All those dang Hollywood screenwriters who romanticize mental illness are full of crud. Having a mental disorder sucks. It robs people of lives. Why should we accept that? I think therapists mean accept our emotions as in be patient with them. That is true. Like how struggling in quicksand can make you sink faster and the solution is to patiently lie flat. Is that actually how you get out of quicksand? Just to lie flat? Fighting against you, my fear, almost led me to jump off a roof. Instead, the solution is to do what we're doing now. Not to fight, but to be patient with each other. Then we should say that instead of some problematic wording like accept. Eh, kind of think of it accept kind of sucks. I do not accept accept. Anyway, anything else you want to chat about? I'm scared we'll be harmed. I want to protect your need for physical safety. The whole world seems to be so dangerous, so full of tragedy and evil. Again, back to you, human. What do you think? Uh, no, let's not. <laughs> let's protect ourselves. You're right. So let's protect ourselves. But... How? I have fangs and claws, but I'm just a metaphor. We could learn some self-defense, join a community that protects each other, improve our general health and personal boundaries. Maybe, but... What if they still don't work? True. There's no way to 100% protect ourselves, but even a 1% improvement is still worth something, right? You're seeing the glass is not 99% empty, but 1% full. Which is still worth something, if you're stranded in the desert. <laughs> well, bottoms up then. So anything else on your heavy heart? I'm scared we'll be alone. I want to make sure you fill that deep human need to belong. But I worry that if anyone ever knew us, the real us, we'd scare them away. More thoughts, human? I think people like us. Let's find out. I agree, let's work on it. I don't think that that's something that you need to force yourself to fit into. So I think we'll find people that like us. Let's find out. We could try some experiments. We could ping a friend to hang out, reconnect with an old pal, or even just chat with a barista. I think we may find we're more likable than we suspect. That is true. Just from this channel, I'm finding out that people actually kind of enjoy the content I'm making and like my personality, which is something I never thought people liked before. I didn't think people liked me whatsoever. I was, um, not the most popular in school or in any situation. So, okay, I think we're more likable than we suspect. What if these are small, cheap wins? What if this is a burden to others? That is one of my anxieties. I feel like I burden people. Maybe the barista just wants to make some dang coffee, not be an experiment to see if our social skills suck. Well, if it turns out we are being a burden, that's good to know. We can then learn how to proactively ask people what they're comfortable with to know and respect others' boundaries. You know all that interpersonal skills crap we see, our we see in counselor brochures? Okay, I think we've talked about all our fears now. Yeah, there are only three fears. Yep, exactly three. Convenient. Very convenient. <laughs> This isn't some game, you know. Building a healthy relationship with your emotion isn't as simple as clicking buttons on a screen. Can we really get along? Can we work together as a team? Well... Ex excuse me. Hi. W would you mind if I sit with you for lunch? This is your crush? We interrupted their peace and quiet for such a burden. I mean, it's okay if not, just... 
I didn't see you at the party. I wasn't paying attention to people. Uh, yeah, come here. Yeah, of course. Come here. Hang on, human. They seem uncomfortable. Uh, no pressure, of course. Just saying, you can sit here if you want to. Ah, oh, we always make others feel awkward. We're staying upon the earth. Oh, run, 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 run. So you have a cat. <laughs> oh, no. We messed that up. Huh. That was weird. I wonder what was going on in their head. Anyway, you were saying? Uh, I forget. <laughs> Something about teams and work. Hmm. They say you shouldn't make peace with your... Oh, they say you should make peace with your emotions. As if your emotions are war criminals. <laughs> but I want us to make more than mere peace. I want us to be allies. I want to be a good guard dog. Just like how hunger and thirst are alarms for your physical needs. I want to be the, the alarm for your psychological needs. Your needs for safety, belonging, and goodness. But... I suck at my job, so I need you to train me. I'm not always valid, nor always irrational. I'm just trying my best. So please, help me help you. Though teaching an old dog new tricks will take a while, maybe years, and sometimes I'll relapse and slip into my old habits. I'll bark at shadows, I'll scare you with words, I might even show you some intrusive images of things. I'm sorry. I'm a battered sheltered dog. Battered dogs poop on your bed sometimes. <laughs> but if you're patient with me, and just stay and sit with me, maybe you can tame this wolf. Good dog, good human. They're both good. Good dog. I like that. And all that stuff is true. It's- oh! Ah, you're still not productive while eating! We're so society bears! Ah. <laughs> Adventures with anxiety. That was really cute. That was really well done, too. And they're wolf. Oh, you have a bird! Oh, it's a pigeon! Very nice. I'm gonna let that go. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed this. Check out the game for yourself. Um, I'll have it linked in the description. This was really cool. Hunter. Oh, that's an elephant. <laughs> this is so cute. But yeah, check out the game. Play it for yourself. See what endings you get. Base it on your own anxieties. This actually helped me see my anxiety in a different way. Now I'm just going to imagine it as a wolf. <laughs> Worldwide, 1 in 27 humans have an anxiety disorder, but most of those many do heal. They find help, share help, and build healthy relationships. You can too, stay determined. Okay. <laughs> so that's what that scream was. Mental health resources. Awesome. So yeah, please check out this game. It'll be linked in the description. I really enjoyed this. I think it had a great message. It really... It put anxiety into a perspective that's easier to understand and cope with. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.